It's finally time. I know you guys have been waiting for my next crafting video. And finally, I have my 10,000 hellish es essences from Banshee. Um, it's been a while since I did a crafting video because my Banshee team is so bad that it took me almost two months to get this. So today we're going to be crafting 40 helmets, 40 weapons, 40 boots, 55 amulets, and 55 rings. And that will equate to almost 10,000 claws. I mean 10,000 um, hellish essences. Now I'm not doing armors because um, basically I keep getting a lot of godly counter armor anyway from Hell Raid. So I'm not really hurting for armor right now. So I'm going to skip that one and save the essences for something that I actually need. I don't have any good counter gear in any of the other sets. I'm also okay with destruction and lifesteal gear. The only thing I kind of want to avoid is resist gear, although even that might have a place if I want to build effect resist DJ Basar at some point. So anyways, let's get started with our 40 weapons right now. Number one, and I'm going to keep track of the really godly gear I get just by locking it, and we'll look at all of that together at the end of the video. So if you want to skip the actual crafting part, just skip to the end. I'll put like a timestamp in the description or something. First one. Uh, garbage. Don't care about that. Hmm. Resist, though. Ugh. Well, let's lock it for now. Probably won't keep it, though. Trash, obviously. Is there a craft again button I don't know about? Has speed, but I don't care about speed on counter gear. Generally, if you're on counter, you don't care about being fast. Holy cow! Holy cow! This is freaking beast mode. Perfect. High rolls on attack crit damage. Decent one on crit chance. I mean, this is a godly freaking weapon already, no matter what it rolls into. So, there we go. We have a winner already. What the hell am I at right now? I, I already lost track now. Uh... Nah, don't need that resist set. Pretty good subs, though, to be honest. Nope. Doesn't compare to the other one I just made. Pretty good, though. Again, I'm at a stage of the game where I don't really like subpar gear. I mean, some of this gear might seem okay to you, but the gear I have, it just isn't. Resist set, effect resistance, health, critical hit chance. Ugh. I mean, not terrible. Oh, maybe I'll keep it in case I ever want resist sets. In general, I don't. Trash. Trash. So I think I stop at around 8300, and then I'll move on to um, helmets. I think it's like 1700 equals 40. Crit hit chance, health, speed on a destruction set. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Um, not going to lock that. Usually don't care about speed that much on a destruction set either. I mean, it's always a good sub, but still. Health, crit chance, low speed roll, meh, resist set. Um, the rolls aren't that great, but if you wanted to build an effect resist ML Ken, you could probably use that. I don't believe in effect resist ML Ken, I've never run that. Destruction, you know, again, this is pretty good, it's just um, the other one's just so much better. Destruction set. If you're going to run a destruction set, you usually don't care about health. Resist attack speed. If it was health percentage, I would probably roll that for DJ Bizarre. Um, Counter. Not getting any good counter weapons, though. I really want counter gear. Resist effectiveness. Meh. Weird. Weird stats. Getting some blues now. Um... Ooh. You know, I'm gonna lock this. Not perfect. I got dodgy effectiveness, but I normally wouldn't lock this, except I don't have any counter gear, so you know you gotta take what you can get sometimes. Um meh. Don't care about that. Critical hit damage, attack, effect resist. Again, maybe some kind of ML Ken gear. Or like an effect resist Apoc Ravi, I'll keep it for now. A lot of blues this session. Speed, effectiveness, crit, hit, damage. Oh. 
I, I'm just gonna lock it for this speed. I mean, I probably won't even roll it. Health, effect resist, flat health. You know, I might keep this. I know that seems really bad, but if I want to really build an effect resist DJ Basaro, I really need speed then. That could be useful. Alright, so I'm almost there. Whoa! Resist effect resistance, speed, health, crit hit chance. This is exactly what I was looking for if I can dodge the crit hit chance for DJ Basar. If I can get this to high speed, like 15 speed and an effect resist roll or something, speed DJ Basar is pretty good on offense with effect resist to counter Basar teams. I'll end up rolling that one for sure. Also, epics with 4 speed in general are always rollable in case you get like that lucky 5 speed roll. Crit hit chance? Nah. So no good counter weapons still though. I'm really hurting on the counter sets, but um, we'll just keep trying. We'll keep trying. So two more of these, I think. Crit hit chance, speed, health. I mean, sadly, I'm going to have to lock that. And I might come back to weapons later. Uh, destruction set, these are not good subs for destruction. But I did get that one godly weapon out of it, so it's all good. Alright, let's do 40 weapons. So 3,400 it would equal, so I'm going to go down to 6,600, I guess, on helms. Let's do it. No good. Attack, health, speed, lifesteal, flat attack. Hmm. Weird. Weird. I'll keep it for now. I do kind of want to put ML Ken back on lifesteal, but my um, Abyss lifesteal set rolled horribly. Ugh, this one is pretty good subs, but the freaking rolls are so low. I'll keep it for now. Back resist. Nope. Come on, counter helms. Need a decent counter helm. I'd like to switch my Charles to counter at some point. Crit hit damage, attack. Nah. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Attack resist. Jesus, that's a lot of flats. No way. Defense, attack, speed, I mean. Flat attack, ugh. Again, on counter sets, I'm not really looking for speed, to be honest. I mean, not that it's bad or anything, it's just not what I'm looking for. You know, for ML Ken, this might be viable, but we'll hold off on locking that for now. I'll re-review everything later. Lifesteal, effect resist, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. Maybe, maybe. Again, I don't believe in effect resist on ML Ken, but... In case I ever change my mind, or I could always equipment conversion it. Attack, crit, hit chance, effectiveness. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think I have that much destruction gear, so... Speed, effect, resist, effectiveness. Pretty much all useless stats on a destruction set. Well, not speed, but... Defensive stats on destruction set are kind of a non-starter. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Speed, defense, attack, flat attack. No crit hit chance or crit hit damage. Max speed though, that's not really very good. I'll roll it probably like once and see what happens later. Maybe it'll be some like mysterious 20 speed gear. Ooh, crit hit chance, crit hit damage, health, life steal. I'll take it. Not bad. Still nothing good for counter though. Getting some blues now. That's just horrible. Let's just tell you how hard it is to get gear. I mean, if you haven't seen my other crafting videos, go ahead and check them out. I mean, getting gear in this game is a pain in the ass. More trash. Although I am getting some destruction epics for uh, converting, if I can get enough of those conversion gems, whatever they're called. And we're almost at the end of the road for helmets, and to be honest, nothing really that impressive. Nothing I'm really pleased about. 
So far, the only great thing I've gotten... Ooh! Ooh, okay. Alright. This is a good helm for a lifesteal ML Ken, for sure. Depending on if I get high rolls. Those rolls are kind of middle tier, not the highest rolls. But, um, happy about that, actually. Let's keep rolling. At some point, I'll have to clear inventory, resist set. Pretty good subs and high rolls, too. It's freaking resist set, but... It's not bad. You could go, like, counter plus two resist or something, like, usable. Crit hit damage, crit hit chance defense. I don't really want the defense, but high roll. Okay, be right back. Gonna make some room. Alright, room made. We'll do, um, three more helmets, and then we're moving on to boots. Alright. Last one. Nah, eh. a freaking whatever. I'll lock it for now. All right, forty boots. So we go down to I guess another seventeen hundred. So we'll stop at like we'll just say five k, and we'll do the rest on amulets and rings. Ugh, I thought that was good for a second. I forgot these are boots. So the main sub was horrible there. Come on, counter boots. Or lifesteal, or destruction. I actually don't have any good boots for any of those, so... Really can't lose. Unless I get garbage like that, in which case I lose. Attack, defense, effectiveness, crit damage. If I can get this into attack and crit damage, potentially pretty damn good. That will be a, a luck boot. That will require a lot of luck. Could be really good, or really trash. Getting a lot of blues here. Come on, baby. Literally nothing noteworthy so far. All of this is pretty vomit-inducing. And right-hand gear is always harder to get, I think, because you gotta hope for the right main stat and the right subs for left hand gear because the, I guess you could call it the main stat is always the same. You don't have that one level of RNG there. So holy cow, this is just um, disgusting. Very disgusting. Health. Oh god. No, it's not good at all. Sadly, probably <laughs> one of my better counter boots, but Ugh. Attack, crit, hit, damage. Again, depends on how it rolls, but I will go for some high attack, crit, hit, damage boots. Ideally, I need crit chance on those as well. Wow, this is, um... I have like 15 more to craft, but these are just... dreadful. Speed, attack, flat, uh, I mean, if I ever want to speed destruction, maybe. I can't think of a situation where I would want that, but we'll leave it there for now. Horrible. Horrible. So I think the boots are a dud, boys. I'm almost at the end of the road and have gotten nothing good. Um... Yeah, speed one. That's actually a rare roll. <laughs> I actually got a one speed roll. It's almost always two to four, but there's like another one. A one speed roll. I mean, to add insult to injury, they're giving me one speed rolls. Not that you'd even ever really want freaking uh, speed on a boot, in my opinion. It's just a waste of a roll. Just get speed main stat boots if you actually want that. Alright, so this is my last boot, and this was just horrid. Absolutely horrid. I don't even want to look at boots anymore, I'm going to throw up. Alright, so we're going to do 2500 essences, it's a hard word to say, it's like a tongue twister. Essences, worth of amulets, and then 2500 worth of rings. Let's go. And I'm probably going to have to do another inventory re-clear at some point during this video. My inventory is getting flooded with all these 
horrendous boots. I don't think I locked anything actually from that. Defense crit hit damage effect resist that. I like these subs. I don't like the main. But um, we'll keep it for now. Tax screen. Nope. Nope. Come on, baby. At least give me a good amulet after you raped me on the freaking boots. Ooh, not looking good. Absolutely assaulting me with blues. Counter, health, def flats, I mean. No bueno. No bueno. This is probably in the top 10 most disgusting amulets I've ever seen. Horrifying. Also horrifying. You know, I wish... Oh god, that I would get lucky on my Banshee ones and not my Wyvern ones because I really want don't want to do Banshee anymore. My Banshee team is so bad. If I ever do another 10,000 Banshee video, I'm not even going to farm Banshee until I build a better Banshee team. My runs are literally like 5 minutes long. It is awful. Um, I switched back to Wyvern for now. I don't mind doing Wyvern. My Wyvern team's pretty good, but... Yeah, my Banshee team is just random throwaway heroes. Jesus, what is this gear? Holy cow. So, so far all of these things are just really bad. I don't think I have a single amulet I locked. I keep getting like, destruction set things with defensive subs. And everything that I have is getting like two flat stats. So it is um definitely not a lucky session, we'll say that much. Flat health and effectiveness, ugh. That one's obviously bad. And we're almost to 2500 again. Passable subs, but flat attack. Not usable. Alright, another cleanup. Cleanup complete. Let's continue. So we have uh, 700 more amulets to go. Counter, flat defense, you bastard. Horrible. Come on, baby. Attack, health. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want that. Come on, just give me one pass. Just give me one that I can at least roll, you know? Give it, like, one bad sub. At least make me willing to roll it. So far, all these things, I wouldn't even invest the gold to even attempt to make anything of it. Maybe, like, a crit hit damage amulet or something? Like... Jesus, look at this destruction gear. Holy cow. Alright. Alright. I mean... With destruction, you really want crit hit damage, but... If I get all attack and speed, I mean... There we go. I asked for something that I could possibly roll even if it isn't that good. I guess that one qualifies. Alright, well that was a nice ass pounding I got. Let's finish it off with rings. If I get some good rings, maybe I'll go back to amulets or something. Defense, health, speed, I mean, it's got four speed. It's pretty bad, though. Bad. Come on, baby. I'm gonna try and stay positive here. It's not like it took me years to get these uh, 10,000 essences. Except it did. It did. I guess I will never have good counter gear. It's gonna be a struggle to own in more one speed gear. <laughs> uh, come on, baby. I got hosed on amulets and. 
uh, boots, so I gotta get at least one decent ring, right? Right? I mean, it's 10,000 crafting materials. I gotta get more than just that one weapon that I got that's good, right? So far, Golem's been the best to me. My Golem gear I was pretty damn pleased with. Nah. Attack, crit, hit, chance, flat health. It's horrible, but I'm gonna lock it. I have no destruction rings. Maybe for like some kind of dog walker or something. Counter speed. Vomit inducing. I have about 30 more rings I can craft. On the bright side, crafting doesn't seem to take much gold anymore with the new crafting cost reduction. I should end this session with still over 35 mil gold, so that's a little bonus. Probably gonna run out of space in a little bit again here, so I can continue crafting this horrifying gear. Another destruction ring with a flat defensive main. Hmm. This one's interesting. Effectiveness and speed are always a good combo. I mean, it's resist set. Ideally, this would be speed set, but probably the best ring I've gotten so far, sadly. Come on, baby. A few more chances. No. Effect resist destruction. I mean, the subs. The subs are good. Is there ever a time I would need this? I mean, all right, be right back. All right, so this is the end of the road here. 800 more to go. I should have enough inventory space to do the rest of them. Let's see if in 800 materials we can get anything good. Anything at this point. Of course, with the flat main. All right. Lifesteal set, though. Maybe. That last pack resist one, I might end up going back and locking it. Jesus, so... The main goal of this was to get a set of decent counter gear. I have failed miserably, and I mean miserably, in that regard. None of the counter gear I got is viable by any means, I think. At least not at high tiers. So this has pr probably been the worst 10,000 crafting session I have ever had. Although I did get that one sick weapon, and <laughs> I'm out of claws. Or essences. Let's do one more boot. Horrible. Alright, so let's go and review. You see all this junk I have. Pretty much none of it is locked because it's horrible. Let's check out the locked ones. This one is pretty freaking bad, to be honest. And it's sad that I actually considered this passable. Um, this one, also bad, but maybe could be some mystery speed gear. This one's like average, I mean, again, destruction set, you usually want crit hit damage. Um, but at least it lets you play with low crit chance if you use that on a Destro set. This is not that bad. I mean, for like a fighter Maya or something, maybe. But defensive main subs are very niche. I mean, you'd rather get health and it's more general purpose. This one is also not very good. Um, flat defense, low health roll, but fine. This one's decent if it goes into crit damage, actually. Uh, this one's average. This one's pretty good. The rolls aren't that high, though, but the subs are okay. This one's solid. This is a, a good resist helm. I mean, unfortunately, it's not counter sets resist set, but... This one I'm pretty happy with. This one's also pretty solid. 
Um, very low rolls, but the subs are good. Mm, it's okay, it has effectiveness on it. Same problem with that one. Low rolls. Uh, potential speed thingy. Average counter weapon, I mean, low rolls. This one is pretty damn bestial. I'm actually a fan of this one. Probably one of the better things I've gotten. But it's resist set again. This one, if it rolls right, could be good on DJ Basar, but it has no speed on it, so probably not good on DJ Basar. This one is honestly not good at all. I don't know, I guess the crit hit damage, if I get a lot of rolls into that, maybe. Um, effect resist Ken Gear. Not good. Yeah, you see how desperate I was because I was locking gear that now that I'm looking at it, it's not good at all. Now this one is a monster. Do I have charms? Let's try rolling this bad boy. Let's see what this turns into. Let's do a few rolls into this because this one's sexy. 5% crit chance roll, so... They're giving me one good thing out of this, although the weapon is the thing I needed the least because that new event weapon was pretty good. Let's see what this last sub is. Come on, baby. Effectiveness. I mean, not bad. That's actually not a terrible thing. So... These rolls are not bad. I mean, if I get a high roll on the last one, maybe like an 8% attack roll, pretty solid destruction weapon. Now I have all this junk, so overall that was a terrible crafting session. Let's see if we can convert any of this. Do I have anything decent I can convert to? Attack by a certain rate. Do I have enough, um... I have no destruction boots? Hmm. Do I have anything I could craft? Maybe I sold too much stuff. Let's see. Critical hit damage could be good for both destruction, counter. I'm going to assume all the stuff that isn't locked is trash. So, okay. Let's just double check this real quick and make sure none of this is good. So I'll either get a destruction or a counter 85 crit damage main gear. Let's see. What do we get here? Not bad. I mean, for counter set, you want kind of um, more defensive stats. And this could turn out bad if it rolls into flat attack or effect resistance. But if you want to make like a super jacked Charles that just hits really hard when he counters... Not the worst thing I could have gotten. Not the worst thing I could have gotten. What other things do I have here? That's flat health. So flat health ones you usually want to put into like helmets or something. <laughs> I guess I sold all of them in, in, in a rage. Attack. Um, are all these trash? Yeah, I mean, pretty much they're all things I never want to see again. Do I have any more counter gear? Yeah. What's the worst one out of these? Probably that one. I probably won't ever want to use that either. Nah, they're both bad. We'll do this. Alright, what do we get out of this? Equipment conversion. Destruction, effect versus... So pretty much the most horrible subs you can get on destruction gear, so... Alright, I think that one's a wrap. Ultimately, um... Pretty devastating Banshee session. I got these awesome new equipment conversion gears though and I'm flooded with a bunch of gear that's pretty much going to be junked. I mean even the ones that I locked are pretty bad but uh 
At least I got this thing out of it, so I can't say I got zero usable gear out of it. Um, but yeah, ultimately a pretty devastating session. I think there is one more thing I can do here, though. And there was that one interesting... Was it a weapon? The effect resist uh, resistance gear. Oh, actually, I probably don't have the charms for it. Let me just scope it out real quick. It was this guy, but I'm out of charms, I think, so... Um, let's just scope it out real quick and see if it's decent DJ Basar gear. Four speed roll, come on. Ooh, not bad. Three speed. This is probably the highest I can get it with my charm situation. And help. So potentially decent tank gear here. So we'll see in the future how that turns out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching me get demolished on equipment crafting and equipment conversion. So if you like seeing people fail at crafting gear, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next video. Take care, guys. Peace.